Hello, this is Abhishek Kumar, and in this video, I am going to discuss mathematics two marks question from GATE 2022 easy. And this question is a multi select type question. So it is given that this series summation of n equals to 1 to infinity n to the power d upon c to the power n. Now, for this series, which one of the following combinations of c and d values does this series converges? That means they are asking. For which of the following option that satisfying this condition, that is the series convergence, which value of CD will be chosen from the given option, right? So this question is from the convergence of series topic, right? So let us first understand the concept. So when any series given like that, so this is a sum of infinite series. Now. Here u n is general n -th term, right? So when you put the limit of n, you get an infinite series. And in this infinite series, all the terms are positive. So this is a sum of positive terms. And the terms are infinite. So which concept we will use? We will use a concept of ratio test. By ratio test, we can determine the series convergence or not. Or not. So what is the ratio test? So ratio test says that limit n tends to infinity u of n plus 1 upon u of n that is u n is the nth term then they will replace n with n plus 1 that is n plus 1 -th term and find this ratio u of n plus 1 upon u n and apply the limit n tends to infinity and this let us this comes out to be a constant lambda now if lambda this constant lambda is less than 1 then the given series summation of u n converges And when lambda is greater than one, then the series does not converge. That is, it diverges. So this is the condition, and this is known as the ratio test. Now, if lambda equals to one, then what is the series diverges or converges? So when lambda equals to one, that means this constant value is one. In that case, and this is the case when when u n is simply one upon n to the power p, when u n is simply one upon n to the power p, this is the nth term. In that case, if you calculate u of n plus one upon u of n, let us calculate u of n plus one means one upon n plus one to the power p. This is u of n plus one term upon u of n. So this is one upon n to the power p and limit is limit n tends to infinity. So it will become limit n tends to infinity. This is n to the power p upon n plus 1 to the power p. Now we will solve it. Limit n tends to infinity. This is n to the power p. And in the denominator, we are taking n as a common. So it will become n to the power p 1 plus 1 upon n to the power p. Now this n to the power p and the power p cancels. So now this will become, so this is equals to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 1 plus 1 by n to the power p. So when you apply the limit, so this is 1 upon infinite is 0. So it will become 1 upon 1 to the power p. That means this value is 1 which is lambda equals to one case, right? So when this type of case, so when lambda equals to one, in that case, this is the case, series will be like that, right? So we will test convergence for this type of case, that is summation of one upon n to the power p, this is the case when lambda equals to one. When we apply the ratio test, for the ratio test lambda equals to one, we cannot test the convergence or divergence. So when lambda equals to one, we will use p test. What p test says? p test says that when summation of one upon n to the power p, if p if p is greater than one, if p is greater than one, then the series converges. Then the series converges, right? And if p less than or equals to one, then series diverges. Right? 
so we have studied two rule first rule is that ratio test in the ratio test we will check this quantity right if lambda is greater than one then the series diverges if lambda is less than one then series converges if lambda equals to one and lambda equals to one in this case right so in this case we will use another test which test is called p test in p test that is one upon n to the power p if p is greater than one then the series converges and if p less than equals to one then the series is diverges so now let us solve this question so in this question this is the term this is un this is un right so the value of un here n to the power d upon c to the power n right let us solve on the next slide that is u of n is equals to n to the power d upon c to the power n so in the a option the values of c and d are c equals to 1 and d equals to minus 1 right so the given series becomes summation of n to the power d upon c to the power and this will be equals to summation of now put the value of d equals to minus 1 that is n to the power minus 1 upon c is nothing but 1 to the power n so 1 to the power n is always 1 so this will become 1 upon n now you can clearly say for this type of function u of, u of n equals to 1 by n we will use p test and in the case of p test if power of n is greater than when the power so you can see that from the p test here the power p equals to 1 now we know that for p equals to 1 this is the case of p is less than or equals to 1 that means the series diverges so from the values of c or d given in the option a the answer is series diverges because here p is equals to 1 so for p equals to 1 from the p test series diverges so but in the question they are asking for the convergence of the series so the option a is wrong now we will check the option b in the option b the given values of c and d are c equals to 2 and d equals to 1 let us put these value in the given series so this is n to the power 1 upon the value of c is 2 to the power n so this is n upon 2 to the power n so for this series so this type of term we will use ratio test right so ratio test is limit n tends to infinity u of n plus 1 that is n plus 1 at times so it will n plus 1 upon 2 to the power n plus 1 divide by divide by u of n so u of n is simply n upon 2 to the power n so this will come in the numerator so now you can see that this can be written as limit n tends to infinity so here from this term we are taking n as a common so n 1 plus 1 by n and this is 2 to the power n upon this 2 to the power n plus 1 can be written as 2 to the power n into 2 and this is into n so this n and this n cancels this 2 to the power n 2 to the power n cancels when you apply the limit n tends to infinity so when you put n tends to infinity so this term become zero so we are left with 1 by 2 so value of this limit is 1 by 2 so this is less than 1 so when this lambda value is less than 1 that means for this value of c and d series converges right for the ratio test if the value of lambda is less than 1 or the value of this limit is less than 1 then the series converges so here the series converges right so b option is correct right now we will check for the c option 
now in the c option it is given that c is equals to 0.5 and d equals to minus 10 so what is the series so this is n to the power d that is n to the power minus 10 upon c to the power n the value of c 0.5 so which can be written as 1 by 2 0.5 is 1 by 2 to the power n so for this type of function we will use ratio again ratio test so that is limit n tends to infinity n plus one term that is n plus one to the power minus 10 divided by 1 by 2 to the power n plus 1 divided by another term that is n to the power minus 10 and this to 1 by 2 to the power n will come into the numerator. Now you can see that limit n tends to infinity here we will take n as common so this will become 1 plus 1 by n to the power minus 10 and this is 1 by 2 to the power n divided by here this will become 1 by 2 to the power n into 1 by 2 into n to the power minus 10 this also when we take common so this will become n to the power minus 10 so this n to the power minus 10 n to the power minus 10 cancel this this is 1 by 2 to the power n this also cancel with this term so when you put n tends to infinite that is this term become 0 so 1 to the power minus 10 is 1 divided by 1 by 2 so this will become 2 which is greater than 1 so when this limit is greater than 1 then the series diverges from the ratio test so for these given values of c and d series diverges because the value of this ratio test limit is greater than 1 so it is diverges right so c option is also wrong now we will check the last option that is option number d in the option d what are the values of c and d c equals to 1 and d equals to minus 2 c equals to 1 and d equals to minus 2 so what is what the series becomes that is n to the power d d equals to minus 2 and c equals to 1 so 1 to the power n which is nothing but 1 so this will become 1 upon n square so this is 1 upon n square type function so which test will be used we will use p test right for the p test you can see that here p equals to 2 now for p equals to 2 that means p is greater than 1 for p greater than 1 the series converges so for these values of c and d series converges from the p test so d option is also correct right d option is also correct so the correct answer for this question is option b and d so this is, since this is a multi step question so two options are correct option number b and d so option b and d are the correct answer for this question right so this completes the solution for this question thank you